Ventique number seven, part four, the last part featuring science and geography and the prodigal son. Let's have a little toast <laughs> to Mr. Clive Dunning, who, representing the North East and Lightspeed Quiz and Good Quizzes Everywhere, is now the current brain of Britain. Yay. Come to spoil our quiz. <laughs> Which was exciting up to this point. So we're on science. Good luck, everybody. Reset, please. Well, you can have a reset for sure. Number one. The cry of the green plover or lapwing gives it what? Norman. Peewit. Alternative name. Moving right along without any hesitation, the disease scurvy occurs as Lee. Correct. The first significant photograph of what? Rhodes. You've done this three times today. Don't be wrong again. Loch Ness Monster. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that. Sorry. The first significant photograph of what was taken by John W. Draper on March 26, 1840, from his rooftop observatory at New York University. B. The moon. The moon is correct. In which year did the first Boeing 737, a 100 series, make its maiden flight and was Concord unveiled? Tony. It's, I've not finished yet, uh, so uh, I'm afraid. A. McP. 68. No. Lee. 67. Correct. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a, a little let drop, isn't it? That's one of the Which Mex Come on, Clive. Which Mexican plant is sometimes known as the rose? Cactus. No. <laughs> Lee. On here. I can see where you're coming from, yeah. but no. Well, uh, Norman. Really Yucca. Correct. <laughs> yeah, you're not even waiting for the clinching clues now. You're going on any, any old thing. Good luck, everybody. The adjective aquiline. Tony. Eagle. What? Next question. What wild animals are captured by being driven into an enclosure called a kedah? Lee. Elephant. Correct. Indian elephants, I believe. What gas makes up 1.9% of the atmosphere of Mars, 3.5% of the atmosphere of Venus, and 78%? Ha <laughs> Lee! <laughs> that I thought that P was first there, but he was long way behind. Long way behind. Lee. B E is a symbol for Lee. Beryllium. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for which quiz player sitting around these tables? B. Uh, Lee, you get two points. Well done. That went down like a With an estimated two hundred breeding pairs. What toad is Scotland's rarest amphibian? B. Yeah, <clears throat> if malacology is the study of mollusks as a whole organisms, what ology is that confined to the study of their shells? Both land. B. Conchology. Conchology is correct. Did you get brilliant? No, no Lee got brilliant, didn't he? But you're on a hat trick. What birds belong to the family Columbida? Tony. Doves. Pigeons. Perfect Dubs answer. Right. Okay. You might want to hear this out, but you might want to press early. It's like Ken on the course, isn't it? Oh, sorry. That's Not that early. <laughs> 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 okay, this is just one of those. Uh, same for everybody. The Bambi Bambi snake, the macadamia nut, and the duck. Rhodes? Australia. And the duck. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Steve, yes. Ha! Huh. 
What is the most familiar application of a Saros cycle? S A R O S. It was used last night. Uh, it's an eclipse prediction. Oh, right. Yeah, the Saros cycle. Five wheels. <laughs> Sounds like something from Doctor Who, doesn't it? It's Next one. Uh, which zodiac sign follows Aquarius and precedes Lee? Pisces. Precedes Aries. Pisces is correct. A term used in female anatomy. Not exclusively, but generally. What is also used to describe that line around which a mineral will fracture, leaving a smooth plain surface, for example, in slate? Lee. B. Service. Tony. Panty line. <laughs> I actually am mystified why you're not getting this pipe. Give us something. No, I do. No, Crack. <laughs> it's cleavage. Cleavage. Of course, it's cleavage. Yeah, cleaving it. It's a certain thinking biological name. That was Yeah, I guess I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, what may, what might, sorry, what may consist of up to five separate bony segments and comprises the final segment of the vertebral col column? Uh, Tony. Coccyx. Yeah, I, I couldn't speak properly, but you are correct. It's coccyx. Yeah, it's not one bone. It can, can be up to five, but sometimes people have less. What colour? Do horsey people call horses that look white? McP. Grey. Yep. There's an orchid, good example, I believe. Can somebody confirm that for me? Yeah. Uh, look at Lee. Striding ahead with geography to come. Mm, you never know. Last question. What links the number 22 with the song that reached number one in the UK on February 11th, 2012? It was Shea's first UK touch out topper and David Goetta's fifth. B. Titanium. Titanium, absolutely. You've got Tony Walsley on a pop tune. Well, we're going to have a number one at that as well. B, you get your two points there. Let's move right along on to geography. Uh, Lee, would you like a quick look at uh, the scars? Yeah. <laughs> With one round to go, geography, on the master sheet, we can see that two, team, two people are tied on 97 for the money. That's P and Tony. Those two are kind of also duking it out for the gross score, but with a nine point cushion, P kind of looks comfortable. Lee has got no, to no, drop no, a few no. and give them to Tony for sure, you to do anything. I, every time I know one, Lee's always there ahead of me. Silver medal. 47, uh, sorry, yeah, at the moment. Uh, Lee, you're in silver medal position on 36. Terrific round there. Uh, you've actually, your last two rounds, Lee, 10 and 11, you've been equal top in both of those rounds. Let's see if you can get 20 points under your belt here. Would that make a difference to the overall score? If you got 20 points, which is not beyond the no, possibility, and McPee doesn't score, you never know. 10 on the course, talk over. Let's put that back here. Good luck everybody. Geography coming up. Your green lights are on. And here we go. Good luck everybody. For the 15th time. Geography including social sciences. Twinned with Port Stanley in the Falkland Islands. Which Yorkshire town has its... Clive. Whitby. Yes. Oh, <laughs> take that, Lee. <laughs> Which Yorkshire town is earliest? I never noticed that. I never did. Earliest record of permanent settlement in 656, when, it, as strength health, it was the place where Oswy, the Christian king of Northumbria, founded the first abbey under the Abbess Hilda. Clive goes to goth weekends there uh, regularly. I'm sure, <laughs> listening to I don't know Breaking Benjamins and. Fallout boy. Which country is made of many islands, including. Rose, stop doing this, will you? <laughs> Go on. Indonesia. 
No. Including Samar, Palawan, Mindoro, and Negros. Oh. Lee. Philippines. Correct. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, you're on par. Which country's flag? Ta -da. Michael did flag from last night. I did. I thought you did. Yeah. My, my bad. Which country's flag is a red field with a five pointed yellow star? <laughs> McP. Vietnam. <laughs> uh, for the second time today, Vietnam pays handsome dividends for McP. That should be enough. Which country's cars have the international registration letters? I'm going to give you the NATO. Uh, oh no, I'm not. I'm just going to say R A R A McP. South Africa. No, a uh, Clive. Argentina. Argentina is correct. The question is finished. So I uh, a. Uh, is that a Roger? Ah, uh, is Romeo. Romeo. I couldn't think of it Romeo. while I was saying it. Sorry. Next, uh, what is the westernmost point in mainland Ireland? Tony. Uh, no, un unlucky. I don't know the it's great, it's great Britain. Lee. No, no, that's the northernmost. B. Point. I'm going to say unlucky, but no. McP, don't say anything dingleish. No. Kit, farewell. Rhodes. No, no, no. I didn't. Um, Norman. Dingle. Uh, no, it's Dunmore Head. It's on the Dingle Peninsula. Oh, yeah, but it's called Dunmore Head. Oh, so, uh, yeah, do you ring any bells with anybody? Dunmore Head? No. Malin and Mizzen are the easy ones to get. The other two are impossible to get with Ireland, so. The city of Philadelphia, which religious group founded? <laughs> Lee. No. McP. Quakers. Yeah. I'm not deducting you anything, Lee, just to keep the game exciting. I know I'm messed about with the question as well, so you're good to go. What demonym would apply to any dog from the Alsace region of Tony? Alsatian. Of France, yes, it's Alsatian. Obviously not the breed, but Tony, you've got two parts. Which large salt lake lies between Israel and Jordan? D. Dead Sea. Dead right. This question never ends. I, Clive, we start doing this because I don't want people just flooding and having guesses. But you've got 50% error. It's going to be a tempter. What was the estimated total length of Great Britain's roads in 2013? Anybody think they might want to go? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. It's 395,415 kilometres or 245,000. So you're looking at a quarter of a million. Two out of guess. Quarter of a million miles. What, a million? <laughs> okay, reset. We don't need a reset. Very cagey, fellas. Very cagey. This question never ends. It's not a whole hour. So it's not the top of the clock. If it's noon GMT, what time is it in Rangoon? Lee. Half past five. No, McP. It's going to be half four. No. Norman. Seven thirty. No. <coughs> Rose. Six fifty. What did you say? Six fifty. No. <laughs> Clive, oh, no, no, sorry, Bean. Six thirty. Yes. <laughs> I, I think I've I've deducted yeah. you already there. That's what I was going for. I thought I was going to go the Six thirty. Uh, yeah, six, six thirty as well in PM. But I will let you off. The state capital of North Carolina is named Tony. He's named after which English sailor? Tony. Uh, Still safe to be, I think. With eight to go, nine to go. Name the capital city from which Air Algerie Flight 5017 took off prior to ca crashing in Mali. Uh, Rhodes. Crashing in Mali. Um, Bamako. Lee, not Bamako. Cairo. No. 
uh, took off prior to crashing in Mali, killing 116 in July 2014. In 1919, the French made it the capital of the Upper Volta Territory. Tony. What do you You said that like a native. Yeah. Wagadoo. 13. Liba, Sopot, Gdynia, and Gdansk. Tony. Poland on the Baltic Sea. I love the way you hedge your bets. Poland's good enough. But I just had to allow it. Well, I mean, you were on the second one. Yeah, Sopot, I stayed at Sopot, my mate's um, stand. So yeah, the road to hell around the bay there. Uh, sorry, he's with my mate's wedding. Are we all good? Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Of which country, uh, sorry, of which county is Billings Hill at 179 metres behind Lee? Lancashire. Yeah, that's we, we did that last time out as well. We are too, too quick on that. Billings Hill. Uh, at, really Rhodes. Not really. Norfolk. No. That's Roman Fort. Uh, where was that? Highest point. A metropolitan county comprising, Tony. Merseyside. Comprising five so metropolitan boroughs created on the 1st of April 1974. Overwhelmingly yeah, really urban but containing two uh, open uh, championship yeah, venues, Birkdale and High Lake. Metropolitan. Uh, did I give you a point there? Eight. You say that by default, don't you know? Yeah. Okay. We might need to go back to that. No, I don't think you did. I think you did. Yeah. You needed to write points. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, for what is Cranwell and otherwise Tony? Um, it's for silk. No. <laughs> so what I was going for? Lee. Well, uh, Australian colour. Yes, yeah. an otherwise small yeah. village on the Lincolnshire Wall, from notable Lee. I was just thinking Mrs. Gaston in my head. Nailed it. That's what I'm trying to question so. <laughs> Nickel waves, narrow pedestrian routes, many of which led towards the former marketplaces in pavement in St. Sampson's Square, are a feature of which British city that was called Rhodes? York. Ibaraka by the Romans. Yeah, <laughs> kind of a giveaway on the last bit of the question. Rosie, you need those points just to keep, you know, to get close oh, yeah. to the surface again. About equity. Yes? I go on, sorry. Grovel. <laughs> About equidistant from Moscow, St. Petersburg, Malacca, and Stockton on Tees, Simon Chilton would have been in by now, which city's nicknames include Heart of Europe, Capital of Freedom, Capital of Spar, Rhodes? Brussels. No. I can see where you're coming from, actually. Uh, Capital of Spars and Thermal Baths, Capital of Festivals and Pearl of the Danube. Tony. It's... <laughs> Bean. No. Lee. Budapest. Yes. <laughs> uh, Prague is Budapest not on the Danube, you know that now. Why uh, Because there's always a capital on the new question with these. I mean, like Bratislava has been in three times this year or something. Next one is this. A smidge short of 1,500 metres and 5,000 foot. The Feldberg is the highest point of which mountain range and area and, outside the Alps, the highest point in Germany? Tony. Zugspitz. No, that's the highest point in Germany by a long shot. Lee. Yeah. Explain Lee. Black Forest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's Black Forest. Next one. How many have you got? We have got uh, three. Uh, Lee has got five. McPee's got three. Uh, Tony's got nine. So, uh, do you need to look at the scores? Yeah, that was nine in the head. So, it's, it's, uh, it's, still, it's, it's still, still, still the life of the old dog yet. Good luck, everybody. The cameras are rolling. Name the cultural and historical region in eastern France, now located in the administrative region of Grand Est, located on France's eastern border and on the west bank of the Upper Rhine, adjacent to Germany and Switzerland, which, 
from 1982 until January 2016 was the smallest of the 22 administrative regions in metropolitan France and had Strasbourg as its capital. Oh, Tony! Alsace. Correct. Lee. I'm going to go for it because you mentioned it earlier. Well, you? Well, you know me. <laughs> Rosie doesn't get anything there, but thank you for joining in. Tony. One to go. Could Tony catch you up here? If he gets one of the two, yeah? He doesn't know. Tony, Tony's on 11, McPee's on 3, and you were 9 behind. Yeah. So if Tony gets that, he will put him on 13 yeah. and put him 10 in front. You yeah, need it, Tony. One, one out of two. Yeah. Okay. Not the Rhine. Which river does Strasbourg stand upon? Curiously, in certain fonts and cases, it might appear to be the same letter four times with just an apostrophe to demarcate the definite article. Go on. Because it's not what you're saying, sound. Sound. Not sound, no, but P. Sound. No, good, close. Sound sounds kind of that way over. It's three, two, one. Time's up. It's the Lille or Il. I double L, and if it's called Lille, it looks like the same letter in certain fonts. You see where I'm coming from with the question. So, uh, yeah, and everybody's, well, it's obviously, it's like Hulls on the Humber. It's uh, Lille is the one which has to go through Strasbourg and Pitti France. Uh, let's have a look at the scars altogether. Nobody gets anything there. We can see that on the gross scar, but P has won by one point. Give him a little round of applause. Uh, no, that was that was that, that was it. Tension, tension over. Uh, no, Budapest, Black Forest, Alsace, and Lille on 22. That's it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you've won. You've won. You've won. Give him a round of applause. That's marvellous. Uh, stage victories. Uh, the first three went to Tony on 16, 8 and 15 music out and history. Sit down for a minute Steve, let's get this done out of the way. Uh, could, then, I just, could I just say Clive took Argentina off me so it's his fault. Yes. <laughs> Miss P had it all is on the way in the next three rounds, visual, spot and froth and uh, froth and science. Visual. Uh, Lee, uh, failing miserably at geography <laughs> that time round, uh, normally our king of geography. Tony, a valiant effort, well done, second place. Now, the, the first thing for Tony is you have won th first place on the money, so you get 30, pe 30 quid. Net, and a, net, 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 a 30 point handicap. Second on uh, the money is McP, and Norman. Uh, Bean, you were so bad in front of oh, Bean manages to squeeze in front of Norman on 94 for, for the £10. So, well done, everybody. Thanks for joining us, Clive. Thanks for taking part with me. And a special thanks to Liam up there on the Apple. Give him a round of applause. He's done a wonderful.